is happening for Nazrul Nazari with a load of players inside the penalty box as well. Yamazaki takes that shot on and scores. Kaishu Yamazaki. Kobayashi. Kobayashi. Wrestling around to get that third and it's smashed into the roof of the net. And it's somebody Zabri who gets there first. Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of SPL Social, the show just about the Singapore Premier League. Now of course this show is brought to you by the wonderful folks of the Singapore Premier League Football Association of Singapore Footballita as well as Tampines West CSC. And today we are out and about once again thanks to our wonderful partners Joe and Do Cafe at Paya Lewa. Quarters, definitely check it out if you're around the area, they got really good coffee. And of course, joining me again, I have two more players, Kai Shu from Hagang United, as well as the money from Alberex. Welcome guys to the show, how have you been? I've been, been well, good actually. And then other than that, I've been training hard each day, getting tenor and tenor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that's about it. Eh? And you guys up? just came from training, so thank you so much for, for joining. I know that it's you know a really tough few weeks, especially for you at Haogang. So um, before we go to you, Kaishu, just to remind you guys that we have another guest, the last goal scorer contest. And it's for a game that Kaishu will be playing. It's Lion City Sailors versus Haogang United. It's this Saturday. So let us know in the comments who you think is going to get on the score sheet for that game. So Kaishu, what about yourself? How have you been? You know, Welcome back, Haogang. I know we finished the AFC Cup mm -hmm. as well. How was your experience like that? Uh, AFC. FC Cup is very good experience because uh, we play the overseas club and yep. how we how uh, can we play and uh, how difficult I feel yeah. so good experience. It was the team uh, very close after the AFC Cup because I saw a lot of photos and videos on social media. Yeah, almost two weeks we spent with a teammate. Uh, in the hotel <laughs> because cannot go out yeah. uh, right so yeah we become a cross and now very good relationship okay Zamani let's go to you I mean a lot, a lot of exciting uh, weeks for you and season as well you've been playing regularly for Alberex. Um so are you enjoying the football right now uh, yeah I would say I enjoy it very much so the demands are uh, more, there, there's more demand for myself there and then also at the same time the, I have to remain uh, humble and hungry each, each time and then at the same time each training I have to take it as if it's my last training and then each match as if it's my last match so every day it will be a, it will be a difficult day for me very inspiring actually I have to say from Zam and you know if you guys are watching this show me you might not know that actually Zamani and Kaishu are actually good friends are you guys like your your close yeah yeah so can you talk a bit about your friendship like <laughs> uh, 2019 he joined the uh, Arubirex and sometimes we eat together and go out and one time we wow. went to bowling yeah, <laughs> 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 yeah with really? teammate yeah it's very fun and yourself, I mean, you were from Alberex, right, Kai, um, Kai Shu? Yep. He was from Alberex, so yeah. you have, you would say that you have spent a couple of years here in Singapore already. Yeah. So are you, have you enjoyed, you know, your yourself here in Singapore since you joined Alberex in 2019? Uh, I really enjoyed and oh. I like Singapore. And actually, I want to retire here. Wow! That's a correct answer. Yeah. <laughs> Zamani yourself, your friendship with Kaishu, yeah. um, you know, maybe you can talk about how close you guys are. Yeah, so when I came into the professional league in 2019, uh, having to know that Kaishu and uh, Hiro, Hiroyoshi Kamata was there, and then it inspires me to like to work hard because they were previously champions the year before, and then like uh, each training he's been like guiding me in simple English, like how do I move well, uh, contribute well to the team. And then other than that, off the field, he's a great friend. We, Like he said, we had lots of meals together and sometimes mm. we, we went out. And then, yeah, the relationship in the field and outside is excellent till now. And I think that's important, right? Because you're playing for Alvarex and you're with so many players who don't speak English. Yeah. So how's your Japanese now? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> My Japanese, I would say I can speak. Okay, okay, okay say okay, a line, okay. say a line, Zawani in Japanese, like. Uh, what is it? <laughs> <laughs> no, I say. Uh, 
こんにちは。こんにちは。ああ、私は名前はザマリン。ベルナイス、ベルナイス。ベタザマイングリッシュ。
point them out, it will be Masaya, Iretsu, um, Khan, Kobayashi, and yeah, Kodai himself. Hi! <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, for Masaya, I would say he's very adaptive, like, uh, because we play on the same side. So, let's say if I were to lose the ball or something like that, he will automatically, like, run back for me or, like, like um, have a quick reaction to win the ball back. At the same time, in the game, we just communicate in the most basic English and stuff. And sometimes most basic Japanese so that we can be on the same path, same understanding. That's about it. Okay, nice one. Okay, Kaishu is back to you now. Yes. Um, okay, I won't ask you the controversial one first. I'll ask you from a not really ear. You've been staying in Singapore now for, for a long time, right? Mm -hmm. Sometime. What do you like about Singapore? What I like uh, Singapore. Uh, weather? Oh, really? The weather? Yeah, I like hot, hot, yeah. Yeah. summer. Yeah. yeah, summer. And food also nice. I like uh, chicken nice. I like bakte. But sorry, I can't eat uh, chili crab. Chili crab? Why yeah. not? It's too spicy? No, I, I can't like. eat... Uh, See, allergy? No, I just don't like. Oh. You don't like the crab? <laughs> yeah. So we've gotten the question that is the SPL social tradition. What is your favorite local food? Chicken rice, right? Chicken rice and bakte. Okay. Before and match, I have to eat bakte. Before oh, match? Yeah, before <laughs> match. Before match? Wow. Zam is like, what? <laughs> really? Yeah, wow. Isn't that? No, never mind. I wouldn't know. But anyway, Zam, what's your favorite local mm, food? Mine would be, I would say chicken rice as well. Yeah. And I would say the second one would be my dad's steam fish. Wow, yeah. it's a special one he cooks for you, is it? Yeah, because uh, I would say I'm a picky eater because I can't eat spicy foods. And then at the same time, uh, I, I would just like some plain stuff lah around. So my dad would just steam a fish, put ginger in it, and then uh, some tofu on the side, soft tofu. And then, yeah, we, we would, I would eat it with just a bowl of rice. Wow, yeah. shout out to Zam's dad for looking after his son. <laughs> I'm sure that our reacts are very happy, you know, that yeah. you're looking after your diet. Okay, now we have a question for Kaishu from Ayim. I hope that you're ready for this one, okay? Ayim13 wants to know, as a fan, I want to know, do you have a girlfriend or someone special? Yes, I have. <laughs> okay, do you want to talk, uh, answer more? More? Do you want to say more? She's from Singapore, I don't know. No, Japanese. she's from Japanese. She always support. Is she in here in Singapore? No? Yeah. Okay. Ayim, that's your, your answer for you because I had so many questions and this is one I have to ask. Okay, no okay. problem. You're okay, yeah? <laughs> now let's go to what you guys do off the field, which is what we do on SPL Social. We try and find out you know, all that fun stuff. Okay, Zam, maybe you can share with me what you guys have been watching on Netflix and any recommendations for people out there? Suits. I've been watching Suits. Yeah, so Suits is one of them. And then the other would be Friends, yeah. So these are the two shows that uh, my close friend, Harry Stewart, we've been watching this since maybe 2016. Yeah, wow. yeah when we were a kid. And then we watch uh, Suits because our training was at Pioneer and then we stay at uh, on the east side. So throughout that train ride, we were to watch one full episode there and back. So yeah, that's two episodes daily. Wow, so it's like a marathon. Eh? Yeah. You know, and speaking of Harris, I'm sure you know Raihan signed uh, yeah. recently with Chiang Mai. So what do you think of, of that? Isn't that great good stuff? I think yeah. it's a good move for him. Uh, definitely, he can test himself and show what he's capable of doing. Yeah. Okay, we'd love to see more Singaporeans go overseas. Okay, Kaishu, any Japanese show or drama that you can recommend? To... For me, Ainori. Ainori is a uh, uh, one bus hub and maybe four girls and four guys come and uh, travel together. It's a reality show? Yeah, reality oh. show. Okay, so a bit more about the show. Like, so they travel around? Yeah, around uh, South Asia. Okay, okay, besides uh, Netflix show, what do you guys like usually do off the field to relax, um, you know, away from football? To relax, I would say I like cafe hopping, yeah, um, coffee, and then at the same time, now I recently have a nephew, 
So whenever I'm done with training in the morning, then I will go to my sister's house and then I will play with him and then in the evening I just go home. Yeah. And other than that, uh, I go for cycling. Yeah. Wake up in the morning, we I cycle together with my partner. We go cycling and we see the sunrise. Nice. That's why. Yeah. Speaking of cycling or activities, Kashu, what do you do away from football to relax, you know, to have fun? Sometimes go Sentosa for relax. <laughs> the beach. Yeah, beach and eat. Chili crab? No. No. Don't want. No chili crab. Yeah, because Singapore is a food capital. You have to enjoy the food here. Yeah. But you know, Japanese food is nice. I'm sure that you know, Zam, you also enjoy your Japanese food, right? Yeah. How is your Japanese like since coming to Swan? This is from Swan Army 19. Yeah, like I said, my Japanese is okay. Like, I have a basic Japanese for uh, on field communication. Like, uh, Hidari, Migi, uh, Sukoshi, Sukoshi, Sukoshi uh, Tomero, stop. Mm. Uh, maybe that, that's about it. Or, yeah. So What is the word, to Tomero? Tomero, stop. 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 Yeah. Okay, so you can say that if you want us yeah. to. Tomero. Tomero. Okay. <laughs> and then, okay, Peaky Blinded wants to know, do you have to cope with any language barriers? You know, because you're playing with all the Japanese players, uh, right? Yeah, I mean, each year, each year we have, uh, like, uh, players who stay from the previous year. So they have a uh, better, I would say they have better English. So if we need um, to translate in a basic form or the, the most simplest way, we could ask the person, like, this year I would say Mahiro. Yes. Yeah. So if there's something um, complex that I have to explain to the other players, like I want this this ball or this this way of running or whatever, I will tell him. Not really. Ill. Who's your closest friend at Hougang? Hougang. This is controversial. Okay, <laughs> you must. Lionel Tam, Idraki, two guys. Only two. Okay. <laughs> most and, close, right? Most closest. Yeah. Okay, and Muhammad Salihin Rosli wants to know, do you miss uh, playing with Tomoyuki Doi? Are you still in contact with him in Japan? Yeah, we contact, uh, still contact. Um, you know, in the match, sometimes I can see uh, Doi running. Oh, wow! <laughs> yeah, and oh, this this one, um, fake. Okay, I... <laughs> <laughs> because I remember he used to have a very good partnership with you, mm -hmm. right? You know, and he was top scorer. And he yeah, said, always I look Doi and I decide uh, which... Pasta. Yeah. So now you still see Doi in yeah, the Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> it's the ghost of Doi, yeah. yeah. But I'm sure you're happy that he's doing well in the, in the J-League 3, right? Yeah. I hope he can go up. Yes. Yeah, we'll all be supporting him because, of course, he used to play in our league. Okay, um, now it's back to you, Zam. Okay, this one I'm going to ask off the charts because we ask this in every uh, episode, which is like, who's your inspiration growing up? Like, any players that I mean, you look up to? Growing up, I would say, locally or... Yeah, okay. If footballer abroad, I would say, uh, growing up, I watched Steven Gerrard. Yeah. He... I would say the attitude that he gave on the field is something that I take, I learn from very seriously. So uh, I would say because of his hardworking skills and his attitude, people around him is willing to work together with him. So yeah, and um, his work ethic just going up and down the yeah. field doing it for the team, doing, for, doing it for football, it's just amazing seeing it. And then, yeah, that's about it. Okay, and Kashu, what about yourself? Any inspiring player mm. that you grew up watching? Kesuke Honda? Yes. Uh, I learned from him about uh, mentality. He's a, uh, I think, you know. Yes, mentality and yeah. strength and, and yeah. And now I believe he's coaching, isn't he? Uh, Cambodia? Uh, yes, Cambodia, Cambodia yeah. yeah. We always see him in this region. Okay, um, you know you have a question, Zam, from I think a coach at Alvarex, not your, your head coach, but coach Habil Hakim, I think yeah. you know him. He wants to know, tell us your vision, future goals and plans as a professional football player. And why did, do you choose Alvarex specifically? I think that's the part that we all want to know, why Alvarex, right? 
Um, because based on experience, the reason I choose Alvirex is because of uh, the intensity of training daily. Uh, Kaishu is there. He he he's know he knows what what um, what's required daily. And then at the same time, I find that um, learning from the Japanese is is a lot. Yeah, number one is the mentality. Number two is the hard working, and number three is just the pure technique they do daily. So I find going to Albirex and signing Albirex as my first professional club it was, uh, I would say, it's a life-changing experience. I would say that. Yeah. So I can I can play for a local team, speak the same language, be comfortable. But then if I go to Albirex, I'll be uncomfortable. Number one, with the language barrier. Then number two, with the mindset that they have, the never say die attitude and like wanting more and more, even though that, even though, even though um, we just won a game, but the, the, the following day, we are back in training, fighting. Tra- fighting for our sport again. Yeah. So like, I find that kind of attitude uh, that kind of mentality very 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 important and would do me good in the future. Kaishu, how do you say fighting in Japanese? Is it gambate? What, how do you say like go? You know he said fighting. What is the uh, word to describe it? Gambate also uh, same me. Ikuzo? I- ikuzo? Ikuzo? Wow! Like a bamos. Bamos! Ikuzon. Ikuzo. Okay, that's a good one. Okay, Rocking Good Time wants to know, do you know who is Muhammad Riyad? He is your number one fan. He always comes to your games. You know yeah, what? and yeah? I think he make my... How to say in English? Uh, no, like, like a poster. Poster. A poster. Poster, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, so you see him at the games? Yeah, every time we shake hands and... Okay, you want to say a message to Muhammad Riyad? Uh, like thank you. <laughs> For your support, always uh, I push myself for you. Arigato. <laughs> Arigato, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's always great to have all the fan support, I think. Okay, guys, um, I just want to remind you guys that we have a guest, the last goal scorer contest, you know, for this week's episode. And of course, it's a game between Hong Kong and Lion City Sailors. Um, and of course, you know, this show is about you guys. So leave your comments below and let us know who you want to see. And before we wrap up the episode, I just want to get you guys to, you know, to leave a message for the fans of Yes, PL. Maybe Zam for you first, you know, yes, messages yeah. for the fans, yeah. Okay, so uh, thank you guys for all your support. And um, lately we have been having like full pack stadium. Uh, please keep on coming, keep supporting, and it only brings our motivation up, only brings our uh, spirits up daily to see uh, that there's so many of you coming down to the match. And yeah, spending your time in the stadium to watch us play. It means a lot to me, it means a lot to all of the players. Thank you very much. And Kaishu, what your message to all the fans of the SPL? And also Hao Gang? Mm. Thank you for your support and please come every match. I stay in Singapore. Zam and Kaishu for joining me on SPL Social and also you know spending time here at Joe and Do. Thank you so much as well guys for your support and do continue to watch SPL Social and I'll see you guys next time.